Good morning, children. Welcome to the online classes. Today we see I am taking the mathematics. The topic is knowing our numbers. Yes, we learned the in the previous class. We learned about the numbers, addition, subtraction, division, and the multiplication. Today I am explaining about the estimating and comparing of numbers. Okay. Explaining about comparing numbers. What is the comparing numbers, children? Just you have to see. I'll give the example for that. See children, I wrote some numbers on the board. First, you have to count the numbers. How many digits are there? See, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have a 4. Here we have a 3. And here we have a 2. And here we have a 5. See, which is the greatest number and the, which is the smallest number, you can catch easily. Yes. We have only two digit number. It is a smallest number. See, this is a five digit number. It is called the greatest number. Okay, just one more example I will give children now. Now you count the digits, both are in the 5 digits only. Yes, see here, we have all two are in the 5 digits only. How you have to compare now, which is the biggest and which is the smallest? See, first you have to observe the first digit number in the thousand place. See, here we have a 5, here we have a 4. Which is the greatest now? Yes, 5 is the greatest than the 4. Okay, one more example I am giving now. See children, both are same. First you have to observe, first digit, year 5, year 5, yes. Next we have to move for the next digit, that is, see year 8 and year also 8. Now we are moving for the hundreds place, year we have a 6 and year, year we have a 6. Next, you have to observe the next tens place. Here we have a 7. Here we have a 6. Now, which is the greatest now? 7 or 6? Yes, we know six, 7 is the greatest than the 6. Yes, you know children, now how to compare the numbers? Yes, okay. Now, I am talking about the estimating Estimating and the rounding of numbers. Rounding of numbers. Okay, children. See, what is the estimated and rounding number? We can't tell the particular number. We are telling as a tens. In the tens only we will tell like 25,000, 10,000. Like that only we will tell. Nearable. We are using nearable. Roughly we are using like that only. In the estimated, I am giving now numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. See, 1, 
two four numbers it will come the previous number means previous ten numbers it will come previous number okay from 5 to 5 6 7 8 it will come for the next previous no, next number okay see I am giving some examples here Eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, and ninety. See, is eighty is round up, round up number. Yes, we are. I am scratching now. In here, ninety also rounding number. No need to take that number. So, a. 81 will take. What is the which is the nearest number for 81? I told you are 1, 2, 3, 4 is come for the 80 only. Yes, that is a rounding number. From the 5, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, it will come for the 90 place. Means rounding number. Like that you have to divide the numbers and you have to round in the numbers. Understood children? Yes. Now we go for the expansion of numbers. In previous class only all you learn about the expansion of numbers. So, I am giving some examples now. First, I am taking the three digit number. 372. First listen and carefully first always you have to take the place values of the numbers. 2 is in the which place? 1's. 7 is in the 10's place. 3 is in the 100's place. Yes. In this also in the expand form we have a 2 steps. We can do both the steps also. 2 methods all the are See, 300, okay, 7 is in the which place, tens place, yes, 70, plus 2 is in the which place, ones place, okay, or we can write, first we take 3, is in the which place, say, in the 300, 100 place, okay, see, next, we come for the 7. 7 is in the which place? Under the tens place. Yes? Yes. See. Now, 2 is in the which place? Ones place. You can write all two methods also correct. You can understood easily. Okay. I am taking the 4 digit number. First. Now. See. First, always you have to place the place values. Ones. Tens, hundreds and thousands. Okay. First we have to do the expand form. See. One is in the which place children? Thousands place. Yes. Thousand. Plus. Five is in the which place? Hundreds place. Yes. Hundred. Plus. Six is in the tens place. Plus. Five is in the ones place place or you can write in the both methods. 1 is in the thousands place. Okay. Next 5 is in the hundreds place. Next 6 in the tens place. Then 5 is in the ones place. You can write both the methods also same. Shall I take 5 digit numbers now? Okay children, I am giving a third example for the explanation form. See, first I told in the first only what you have to do. First you have to place the values. 
See here. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand and ten thousand. Okay, children? Okay. Now we have to write four in the which place? Ten thousand place. Yes. Next, five in the thousand place. Next, two in the hundreds place. Next, seven in the which place? Tens place. And eight in the one place. Can write like this or See, 40, 4,000, 40,000, 5,000, 278. Okay, children, now you know how to write the expansion form. Okay, now you understood all? Yes. Now we come for the commas. You know all you know the commas, no, children? Use it so. Comma. What are the uses of comma? Uses of comma. Why you are using the commas? When you are writing the large number. When you are writing the large numbers, children. We have to put the comma. It is help us to read and write also. Understood? See, we have to comma is helps to read and writing the large numbers in our Indian system of system of numeration. We use what you have to use ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, lakhs, and the ten lakhs and crores also it will come. Where you have to put the comma? We don't know that one. Yes? Just I am writing. First comma always you have to put the just I am writing numbers here. See. First comma always from the right side of the number, after the three digit number, you have to put one comma. See, one, two, three, here you have to put comma. After the three digit, you have to put comma after the two digit. Means one, two. Like that only. Next you have to put two digit only, you have to put the comma. Just we can read this is as a one lakh. Yes, children, see how many zeros are there? Five. The five zeros which will come in the one lakh only. See, I am giving some numbers now. See how we will read, children, this one? We can't read without commas. Yes, we can read four, seven, five, three, two, zero. Like that we will read. But... When you put the commas, we will know the values of the places. First I told, first comma is always from the right side of the number after three digits. Say, one, two, three. Here you have to put one comma. Next, after the two digits, you have to put one comma. One, two. You can read now, four lakhs, seventy-five thousand, three hundred and twenty. You can read Easily, when you put the commas. Okay, children, now you understood. One more number I am giving now. See now, you can read now this number? No, we can't read this number directly. 
when we use the commas only we can read easy and we can write also see first comma is always after the three digit number one two three we have to put one comma then what i told when you come the for second comma you have to come second comma after the two digit one two okay still you have a numbers means after the two digit you have to put the comma now you read children's this one 98 lakhs 47215 you can read easily when you put the commas we can read very easily i'll give that now very big number you can't read is you'll read now let me see now see how many numbers have there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 numbers are there yes first we know first you have to take the place values ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore okay you know that children yes first comma where i told after the three digit from three digit number from the right side of the numbers yes 1 2 3 yes you are yeah, you are putting the comma after the two digit number 1 2 yes after the again two digit number 1 2 yes now you can read 8 crores 75 lakhs 995762 you have to read like this when you take the place values you can read and you have we put the commas also we can read very easy children okay now you understood all yes children today we learned comparison of numbers estimating the numbers and rounding numbers and the uses of commas yes in the next class i'll come in the another topic i'll explain about that just you have to practice it well okay thank you